I've got a $150,000 budget to find a duplex in the Cleveland market that's going to bring in at least $400 a month and have a cash on cash return of at least 9%. Dan from Ohio, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. As always, I am your host, James Wise. I got my guy Tommy behind the scenes capturing all the action for you. And what we are doing today, I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm having a great day. Uh, as you'll see here, I'm in my new studio. Uh, still a little bit of a work in progress. We got wires everywhere coming out of the ceiling. Uh, we're still putting this thing together, so uh, bear with us if there's any technical uh technical issues during the show uh, you're just gonna have to bear with us I know uh, we just filmed this is the second show we filmed in the studio the new studio here and uh, I know on the first uh, the first show we were running into a little bit of issues with this monitor it was blinking in and out but I think my guy Tom I think he took care of that issue um, so hopefully it should be a smooth show what we have my guy Dan this is a local right not everybody um, that utilizes our service has to necessarily be out of state. I know a lot of you guys are in California, right? You know, California's huge. It's incredibly expensive. So the majority of folks looking to the Midwest for turnkey real estate investments are typically West Coast folks or folks from other expensive markets. Uh, like New York is another really big one for us. And uh, the Carolinas, there's a lot going on in the Carolinas, North Carolina, South Carolina. So uh, prices are really, really high there. So we see a lot of folks from there. Uh, but primarily it's California. But, you know, guys, Cleveland, man, there's investors in Cleveland. People in Cleveland are still buying this stuff. And, uh you know, if you're in Cleveland and uh, you want to buy the property and uh, you just want to utilize my services to help you find a property, um, I can do that. And then you can go ahead and self-manage it. Uh, Dan, um, he's local. He's uh, he's in the Cleveland area. He wants us to manage it. He doesn't want to deal with managing, and that's fine. We'd be more than happy to manage the property that I found for him. But if he wanted to self-manage, uh, I wouldn't, you know, my feelings wouldn't be hurt. Uh, so he purchased an analysis, <clears throat> a little bit about you, Dan, okay? Because, you know, Dan, you're watching this right now, uh, but this will, of course, get launched live on Holton Wise TV uh, in about 60 days. So after this deal is totally wrapped up, right? This deal is active on the market, so I would never publicly release this analysis for others to, to swoop in and take your deal. It's bad enough we got the rest of the folks out there checking out the Cleveland market, trying to come in before you and get your deal Speaking, uh, before I get into your info, Dan, speaking of folks trying to come into the Cleveland market and get your deal, I want to bring everyone's attention to this. If you go to holdwise.com and you click the property search for sale tab, you got two options, right? Top, you click the investment property for sale show. That's my show where I sell properties, and we email that show to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, full video tour. So if you're not subscribed to our email list as well as this YouTube channel, you definitely want to check all that out, check out the Investment Property for Sale show. But what I really want to bring to your attention, though, Dan and everyone else, the MLS Search and Analysis show, obviously, Dan, you're aware what that is because you purchased your own episode, but something you may not have seen, a newer feature. You scroll all the way to the bottom, brother. I have these new products, real-time MLS feeds. And as you will see, dude, these bad boys are cheap. I mean, right here, man, $29.99. That is not a monthly fee either. That is a not an annual fee. That is a one-time fee. What this is, guys, is I have broken down these things into categories, right? We got our D-class multi-unit buildings. We got... Our C-class multi-unit buildings, C-class multi-family properties, so that's two to four units. That's like your duplexes, your triplexes, your quads. 
multifamily that you can still get 30-year financing on, single-family homes, right? So I broke it down into five categories based upon my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. So if you're new to the show and you don't know what the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods is, uh, go ahead and Google that, or I'll, I'll put a link to it in the show notes below. I graded every neighborhood in Cleveland uh, based on risk, risk level, right? Because the majority of you guys watching are in California. So you got A, B, C, D, F, right? A is typically your owner occupied, so we don't sell a lot of stuff in A. That's like, you know, I live in an A neighborhood, right? There's like no rentals where I live, right? But B, C, D, F, we, we don't sell too many F to out of state investors because it's really, really hard uh, to make a profit while paying a third party company. You got to kind of be local and really know what you're doing to make money in F. So the biggest thing we sell is B, C, and D. So that's what most folks should probably check out. Like, Dan, uh, you're interested in B and C, right? So that's good. But what I did is I took. You know, those categories, A, B, C, and F, uh, A, B, C, D, and F. And you have the option to get single families, multifamilies, which is two to four units. So you can still get your 30 year financing. And then your big apartment buildings. And I, I, I have given you guys my direct MLS access. And I will send you properties in whatever category you choose to purchase the moment that they are placed in the MLS system by uh, other listing agents. We got about 5,000 realtors here in Cleveland. So, like, if you're out there, right, and you're you're finding these properties, but you're searching, like, Zillow, Realtor.com, those websites get their data from the MLS, but it's slow. It's an automatic aggregation. Um, by the time it populates to those websites, you could be a few days behind. Whereas with my data, you literally are getting my MLS access in a pre-sorted fashion of what you're interested in. So if you only want to buy B-class singles, that's all you'll get. If you only want to buy C-class duplexes, that's all you'll get. And the moment, like if the listing agent at 4 p.m. today changed the price at 4.01, you will get an email from me telling you that price has changed. So that's going to allow you guys uh, to get these deals quicker than everybody else because there's a lot of guys out there uh, trying to buy these products. So I think everybody who's watching should be smart and get yourself some automatic searches set up and you'll save yourself a lot of money, right? Like these analysis shows, these are pretty expensive and I run into a lot of times, you know, these are five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar shows. Uh, I get a lot of guys that are like, oh, I like this duplex and I'll deny it just because I think it's in an F-class neighborhood and they, uh, they didn't realize it was in an F-class neighborhood. Guys, you don't have to pay me five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars to tell you the property you're looking at is in an F-class neighborhood. Spend thirty bucks, and I'll tell you that ahead of the time on all these properties. And then when you finally find one that's in the you know the criteria that you want, man, then get the show right. Save yourself some money. So spend a little bit up front so you could save a little bit down the road. And then that that's like what this show is, right? You're spending five, six, seven, eight hundred bucks so you don't make a fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred thousand dollar mistake. Uh, so. Enough about that, though, man. Let's get into you, Dan. Let's get in to what you got going on. So this is your first time investing in real estate. Like I said, you, you're in Ohio. You're in the Cleveland market. <clears throat> You've invested in stocks, but this is going to be your first uh, foray into the Cleveland market. Uh, you're interested in B or C assets. You want multifamily, so two to four units. Uh, your budget's pretty wide open. You got a lot of money, right? You got 55 k cash on hand, so that's more than enough to get you a deal. Um, the minimum you want to spend is 40k. Max is 150. Uh, we're not going to really be anywhere near the 40k range because uh, anything that's like 40k, 50k, 60k, uh, that's probably D class multi. Uh, but the good news is we are probably not even going to need to spend uh, that whole 150k because what you wanted to hit, okay? You're hoping you want to finance this uh, with a 20% down payment, and you're hoping to hit 9% cash on cash and still cash flow 200 bucks a unit. Uh, well, first thing, just so you know, you're going to have to put down 25%. Shouldn't be an issue based on the amount of money you have. Uh, but lenders, right? Uh, speaking of which, Dan, if you don't have a lender, uh, just send me an email, man, uh, and anybody watching. I will send you my list of lenders. I have lenders that will write loans on anything one to four units. Uh, these are 30-year loans, low fixed interest, okay? This is the best kind of financing you can get, guys. Uh, so if you guys are like back to these real-time MLS feeds, before anybody thinks about buying these five-plus unit feeds, okay, make sure you exhaust your one to four unit financing. That's the best type of financing, guys. We can get 10 residential loans. So you need to burn your first one on the house you live in. Take care of home base first. And then you got nine mortgages, guys. Go ahead and buy nine rental properties, singles, doubles, triplexes, quads. 
after you've done all that, then I think it's smart for you guys to move into apartment buildings. I don't think you guys should be going into apartment buildings right away because the financing on apartment buildings is nowhere near as good. Uh, that said, Dan, they don't do 20% down. They do 25% down. And that's pretty much like nationwide. That's not like these specific lenders. That's just like how the industry works. So anybody finding anything under 25% down, non-owner occupied, it's, it's probably not going to happen because all these loans are sold on the secondary market, right? Uh, they're originated and then they're sold off, you know? So these are, uh, <clears throat> a lot of these things are going to be, uh, pretty standard across the board from, from various lenders. Now, uh, to hit your 9% cash on cash and a hefty cash flow budget uh, goal of 200 per unit. So if we get you a duplex, that's at least 400 a month in your pocket after you pay your mortgage and your expenses. Um, we're going to go lower than the 150 k because we're going to have to stick to C-class. Very, very hard to find that in B-class. And that's what I found for you. I found a solid C-class property, but you are going to have to do a little work to get to the numbers. Now, I know you are not interested in fixing flips or burrs or anything like that, and that's not what this is, but uh, you've given me some very lofty goals to hit for you, uh, so there will be some work uh, that needs to take place to actually hit those. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection, both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind, provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. Now, a property that I have found for you, man, duplex, okay? Boom, here it is. I know it doesn't, uh, look beautiful like you know don't think i don't notice that there's like a boarded up window there there uh driveway is not not too hot i see that that's a little you know broken but this is what c-class investing can look like sometime guys uh it's not the end of the world uh but you know to hit these cash flow numbers that's some stuff you're going to see. And Cleveland itself doesn't have a point of sale, so that driveway is probably not going to matter. The tenants are still going to rent the property. They don't typically uh, factor that kind of stuff in as long as the interior of the house is nice. But if we were looking at, like, Euclid, Garfield Heights, uh, Cleveland Heights, right, some of those suburbs in the Cleveland market that have point of sale inspections, this would be something to look at because that'd be an extra ten thousand dollar expense you'd need to pencil in. But we're not going to have to worry about that here because it's in Cleveland proper, and uh, there are no point of sales uh, to worry about. For everybody that doesn't know what a point of sale inspection is, in certain cities in the Cleveland market, the city has to come in and they inspect uh, the home and they issue violations, and you can't transfer title on the property until the violations are cleared or the buyer puts up escrow money and agrees to assume them. Then the city only gives the buyer a certain amount of time after it closes to fix them. Not the case here in the Cleveland market. So looking at this property on the outside, nothing super hot, nothing great. It's a little rough looking, but I target it for you because of the numbers. 224, 2224 Forestdale. So three twos and a four Forestdale. Cleveland 44109. That's the old Brooklyn neighborhood. We've got hundreds of duplexes in this neighborhood. I love it. This is the anticipated rent roll. One unit's 1-1, one, one, the other unit's 3-1. Rent 600, 800. So 14 a month or 16,800 a year. Now, you got to do a little bit of work to get to it. So let's go to the photos. Let me show you what's going on. Not an extreme amount of work, but a little bit of work. This is the downstairs unit. This is your unit that's totally empty right now, and they kicked ass on this renovation. I love it. They did the agreeable gray paint, right? This is the kind of paint that we use. They did the, the trim. That's the kind of trim we would do. The only thing they did different is they carpeted the property. Um, 
I would have pulled the carpet and refinished the hardwoods because that'll save you money on your, your turnovers because, you know, this is a lighter carpet. This carpet's probably only lasted one tenant. Uh, but there's no sense for you to worry about that now. It's already fresh. It's already done. They've already paid for it. Uh, just note that on your next turnover, you'll want to pull that carpet and we'll refinish the hardwoods to harden your unit, save you money uh, going forward. But everything else that they did in this unit is just freaking beautiful, dude. Like, this is great. It's kind of hard to see based on the photo that the agent uh, took, which, by the way, just so you know, this is not listed by me, right? This is listed by another agent. That's, that's the point of the show. I find properties that I think fit you. Uh, based on what's out there and what your goals are. This is listed. I wrote it down. Uh, realtor out of Russell Real Estate, right? And again, the price seventy four nine. But if you just sneak in here, man, look at this bathroom. Nice floor. That looks like a brand new toilet. Beautiful looking bath. So this is just some nice high quality stuff, okay? All right, just, just super nice unit. Uh, I like the vinyl flooring in the kitchen, as you'll see right there. Right here, okay, this is uh, where you hook up your laundry equipment so the tenant doesn't even have to go in the basement for laundry. That's a big plus. Over in the corner, you can see the cabinetry. It's looking good, right? Nice new cabinets. Those look like shaker cabinets. Uh, not, <clears throat> that doesn't uh, appear to be like a stone, but that's like a pretty high, like a high-end cheap finish, I guess you can call it, from like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Uh, so you don't always have to go with like a super expensive stone in the C-Class. This is like a very adequate, very nice kitchen. This kitchen will stand out amongst your competition in a C-Class neighborhood. So this is just a beautiful unit, beautiful kitchen, okay? Uh, beautiful bath, man. Kitchens and baths, guys. That's what sells houses. That's, what's, that's what rents houses, man. Look, this is super modern. This is super nice. Like, I really, really like that. Uh, that that's very nice. You're not going to have tenants complaining about that, okay? This is just... Uh, everything is, is looking great here, okay? This is uh, um, the other bathroom, okay? Also looking really, really good, all right? And then this is just some shit in the yard. So that unit downstairs, okay? It's 600 bucks a month is what I believe we could rent that for. The reason uh, that that's still low is because it's only a one-bedroom, but that is freaking nice. It's like the nicest one-bedroom. We could probably even try 650 but conservatively, I wanted to give you 6 Now, the upstairs is a messed-up situation. They totally renovated that one bathroom, but the, the, the listing agent, she didn't say uh, much about anything other than that bathroom. I'll read you exactly what she wrote. Great investment property or owner occupied with rental income. Bottom unit is fully updated from top to bottom. Home features all new carpet and flooring throughout. Brand new neutral paint. Spacious kitchen. Completely updated with bright white cabinets. Large remodeled bath on each floor. One bedroom on main floor. Three bedroom upstairs. Plenty of space in bedrooms and closet space. Has a covered front porch on both floors. Uh, so with her lack of what she said about the upstairs unit, I'm guessing that the kitchen isn't renovated. So... Currently, right now, okay, I don't know, like, what they were thinking, but they have a tenant in that upstairs unit paying 300 bucks a month. And usually when I do these, um, I like to lay the numbers out, like, with you guys leaving the existing tenants in and we slowly raise their rent. But in this case, can't do that because that's just uh, fucking ridiculous, right? That's stupid. Uh, that unit... If you make that unit look like the downstairs unit, you'll rent that for 800 bucks a month. So we can't leave that tenant in there at 300. So after you buy this, you got to just issue them a notation saying, "Hey man, we're going to, you know, increase your rent to 800." And at that point the tenant could either bail uh, or they could stay. I would assume they probably can't stay if they're used to paying 300. Don't know where they would go. Maybe it's like a family friend situation with this owner. I don't know, but it, it would be disingenuous for me to tell you you could just Take a guy who's paying 300 tell him he's got to pay eight, and, and assume he won't move out. He probably will move out. He'll probably go live with a family or something. I don't know. So assuming that guy moves out, after you renovate that unit, uh, you should be able to get eight, 800 bucks for that unit because it's a three-bedroom. Now, as far as cost goes, I have uh, just penciled in a $10,000 renovation budget for you to get you uh, to uh, having that unit ready to go. Now, they repainted it, and they did the carpet. But I think you're probably going to have to replace the carpet anyway because, you know, pretty much light carpet like that. It's one tenant, and then you got to get it out. So we'll refinish those hardwoods. Maybe we have to repaint the walls again. Maybe we don't. They already did the bathroom, which is awesome, but they didn't say anything about that kitchen. So by her omitting that 
uh, kitchen from the description. I would presume it's a really old kitchen. So $10,000 should cover like a total turn and give you a high-end kitchen and give you the ability uh, to rent it for $800. So that would allow you to bring in $1,400 a month. So um, doing that, of course, you're not going to make $1,400 a month. You got your expenses. So let's quickly run through those. Repairs and maintenance, you know, we're going to pencil in 70 a month, and that's not like you're spending 70 every single month, okay? That is like nothing, 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 then you have a $500 repair, or nothing, 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 then we have like a $2,000 turnover, right? But you got you to factor that stuff in. You can't just spend that money. You got to keep that money safe, because eventually you're going to have these turnovers, uh, and you're going to have to make these repairs. And speaking of those turnovers, you have vacancy and non-payment of rent. Just because tenants are supposed to pay fourteen hundred a month doesn't mean you're going to get fourteen hundred a month in income every month. So you got to factor in about seventy a month budget that. So that's eight forty a year for that. Okay. Eventually you're going to have tenants not going to pay. We're going to have to evict their ass. Eventually you're going to have some vacancies. You're going to have to wait to get uh, the unit renovated, uh, turned over, and I'll wait for my team to lease it out to another person. So we're going to factor in. We're we're saving eight forty a year for those repairs. We're saving eight forty a year. Uh, for that vacancy and that non-pay period. So when those things occur, you're prepared. Now, capital expenditures, right? <clears throat> We're also going to save 70 a month or 840 a year for that. Now, I don't really have much information on the big ticket items here. They weren't able to provide that to us. But that's like items like your roof, your furnaces, your hot water tanks, okay? Like your roof on a house like this, this is probably like, uh, I would say like a six, maybe a $7,000 roof. Shingle roofs here in Cleveland, they're going to last about 30 years, Every 30 years, you're going to have to spend six, seven grand. That's just that's, that's how it's going to be, right? So if you ask the seller, like, hey, how, how's the roof? And the seller gives you uh, the answer. I get this all the time. Like, oh, how old? I'll say, how old is the roof? And the seller will be like, oh, the roof's good. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't mean anything, okay? A roof is good. That means it doesn't leak, okay? If it's five years old, it's good. If it's 26 years old, it's good. But if it's 26 years old, it's about to be dead done. I got to spend six grand in four years versus the same good roof that's only five years old. And I don't have to worry about it for another 25 years. So uh, when we do a home inspection, we can have the home inspector look and actually give you uh, a closer idea of how old it is. But just so you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to save for that. We're going to understand that these particular big ticket items have a limited expectancy of life and you have to pay to replace them same thing with your furnaces man you got two furnaces right it's going to cost you about three grand to replace those uh furnaces last about the same as roofs like about 30 years sometimes 40 years i mean i've seen older furnaces um i've seen furnaces outlast roofs by a lot but you know just to be fair let's call it about 30 years hot water tanks uh those are going to last you about 15 years but they're cheap they're only a thousand dollars to replace and you should have two hot water tanks as well so that's your capital expenditures, so we're going to account for that. We're going to save 840 a year for that. And then you got your taxes. The annual property taxes of this property are 542 That's very, very low. That's only 45 a month. Uh, if you were to buy this at 75000 just so you know, the county would most likely reappraise the property at $75,000, and, and those should at the very least double. I would uh, assume they'll probably end up around like twelve, thirteen hundred a year, uh, possibly even higher. Just so you know, insurance we can insure it for eighty bucks a month. My company, we have an insurance company uh, in the show notes below. It's called the Hogue Insurance Agency. You go ahead and click that, and uh, you can get a quote for how much we would insure uh, your properties. This one, it, we should be able to find you a nice, cheap landlord policy for about eighty bucks a month. Anybody else who's watching, if you have rental properties, go ahead and click that. Get yourself a a quote. We don't do just Ohio. We do a bunch of states, and uh, you know we're landlord insurance guys. We don't worry about home home homeowners, owner occupants, or whatever. You know, our whole thing is we scour the market looking at other third-party providers, and we find you guys the cheapest landlord policies. That's what we do there. Uh, water sewer, hardest thing in the world to um, <clears throat> estimate, but I think you'll be at about 150 bucks a month on average. Some of your tenants are going to spend more than that. Uh, it's 75 a unit, by the way. Some of your tenants are going to make that go up. Some will make it go down, uh, but that's... You know, I run a $50 million portfolio. I've had thousands of tenants, so that is like a reasonable uh, number to peg there. Lawn care, right? Uh, this is Cleveland. Dan, you already know this. You live here, dude. Uh, it's really, really cold in the winter, so we don't cut it in the winter, but we'll probably cut it about 16 times a year. So uh, we charge like 33 a cut, I believe. So if you uh, factor in the amount of cuts we'll do, it'll be 528 a year, so that averages out to 44 a month. And then lastly, the property management, the uh, amount of money you got to pay us to run the property for you should be 140 a month. So your total expenses on this sucker, 
669, right? That's going to leave you, all right? You're bringing in 1400 your average expenses. Again, these are averages, man. You might have an actual experience that's a little bit different. And it won't be different, like, one way forever. Like, it could run really, really good for year one, two, three, four, and then year five and six could, you know, it could go downhill, and then it could swing back up. You know, this is a people business. There's an unlimited amount of variables at all times. So, like, don't think that, like, when I do these estimates for you, you're literally every single month going to spend 669 and you're going to bring home 731 every month. It just doesn't work that way. These are averages, right? This is a game of scale. If you get like a bunch of properties over a long period of time, this is what the data should probably average out to. Uh, but there, are, of course, will be variables, man. Uh, but <clears throat> reasonable expectation is you make in 8,770 bucks a year. So if we dig deeper into this for you, dude, if you bought it at list, because you're going to have to go list, bro. This is cheap, man. Uh, we're starting to see duplexes, uh, you know, these kind of duplexes, especially that nice, you know, renovated one. Let's just check out that photo again. Right? Let's, let's look at this downstairs, you know. Let's look at this kitchen, man. I really like this kitchen. This is nice. Like, this is a good kitchen. This is probably one of the better kitchens in the old Brooklyn area. So, you know, you're starting to see a lot of this stuff creep to about, you know, close to 100K, 90, 100K, right? So, 75,000, that's a steal, man. So, you got to pay list, right? You got to bid list on this thing. 74,9, I factored in a cost of roughly 10K, and that's to boot that Yahoo paying 300 bucks a month. Get that dude out of there. We don't want that guy. It's hurting our cash flow. Uh, and then, you know, since they uh, showed us pictures of a really nice bathroom and they said they just freshly painted and carpeted everything, again, I want to toss the carpet because it's probably not going to last through the tenant. I'm hoping maybe we don't have to do all the paint, uh, but we might have to do it again. You never know. Uh, and we're definitely going to want to do some stuff to the kitchen because it doesn't sound like they did anything to the kitchen. So I think 10 for the information, you know, limited amount of information we have at this moment, I think 10 is a great estimate. So that puts you all into the sucker for 84.9. Now, the question is, man, is it going to hit your goals? And, of course, the answer is yes. That's why I picked the property for you, bro. Now, that's a cap rate of 10.3. Now, if we go deeper, right, because you want to still hit that 9% return and you want to cash flow 200 bucks a unit, okay? So your mortgage down payment, that's going to be 18725 because remember, I got lenders that will do 25% down. So that's going to leave you with a mortgage of 56175 and that mortgage payment is going to equate to 284 a month or 3408 a year. And, and quickly, I want to show you something here for everyone uh, wanting to run numbers at home, guys, okay? Homewise.com tools and resources right here mortgage calculator you guys could run these numbers yourself okay so i'll, I'll show you guys how to do it right now that mortgage amount fifty six thousand one hundred seventy five over 30 years calculate that bad boy boom right there 284.63 and if you'll see here it you know gives you the full amortization schedule it shows you the principal you're paying and the interest just so you know, just to point this out, guys, this is how real estate works at the very beginning, okay, of your payments. It's always going to be, you know, it's fixed interest, so that's not going to change. It, it, the payment could actually change based on tax, taxes going up or down. But what's going to fluctuate is the amount of your money that's applied to your principal versus the amount of money that is applied to your interest. At the beginning, you're only paying $73.97 in principal, and it's two ten dollars in interest. But... All the way back towards the end, okay, like your last payment, $283.57 of it is going to be all principal, and you're only paying a buck in interest. The banks do that so they can make as much money possible because a lot of people, they sell the properties. They don't usually keep these properties for 30 years. So if you're smart, if you're smart, which I'm assuming you are because you're here, the fact that you're here on this show doing your research, trying to build a better life for you and your family shows me you're financially savvy. You got to hold on to these assets, guys. You hold The longer you hold on to them, it's great. I see people that freak out if they don't get their $400 a month in cash flow. Like, dude, if you broke even on this month, Okay, if you you know you're you know, just broke even, you didn't get no cash flow. You still made two hundred eighty three bucks, man, because the tenants are paying off your mortgage. That's why this stuff is so great, <laughs> right? So, play with the numbers yourselves, guys. Holdingwise.com. Go to the tools and resource section. Check out the mortgage calculator. So with that, I, I 
in the chart that you're seeing on the screen now, I, I just wrote 284, just so you know, I don't, I don't dick around with uh, like change, right? Like it's 284, 63 is the actual payment. If 63 cents on your mortgage matters to you, <laughs> you're in the wrong business. Um, so after you pay down all of your estimated expenses and, and you pay off your mortgage payment, your net cash flow after your mortgage, Dan, it should be 447 a month, which hits your goal uh, of 400. And that cash on cash return is 18.67%. 18, 18 That's double what you were looking for, brother. And one thing, when you're doing your cash on cash return, I just want everyone to know, right? I took my NOI, the 731. You take that number, then you have to subtract your mortgage payment, okay, your 284. So that gives you your net cash flow after mortgage. That's 447. You take that number and you divide that number by the amount of cash you had to put in the deal initially. So a lot of times that would be 447. Uh, well, it's the yearly amount. So that would be 5,362. And you would divide that by your down payment, which would be 18,725. But don't make the mistake of doing that here because you'll get a dramatically skewed number. Because remember, it wasn't just 18,725. That was our mortgage down payment. On top of that, I have factored in an additional 10,000 that is going to need to come up at the very beginning. Doesn't have to happen the day you buy the property, right? But we got to boot that tenant out to get these numbers. So like within the first like four or five months of you owning this property, I anticipate you spending that entire 10K. So I did 5,362 divided by 28,725. And that's how I got my cash on cash return of 18.67%. And Dan, that is everything I have for you today, brother. Uh, I hope this deal uh, is everything uh, you were hoping to accomplish. I think it is. I think we crushed it. I think we hit everything that you wanted to hit and then some so if you'd like to buy this property you can send me an email james wise at holtonwise.com and uh, i will personally act as your buyer's agent you will get access to myself uh, and my personal admin team uh, you know note that we're going to be doing pretty much all communication via email right I, i'm not like able to like hop on like 20 minute phone calls with you uh to discuss like every step of the process but we'll be able to walk it walk you through it via email and uh i don't really know what else there could possibly be to discuss i mean it's a fairly simple deal and you know i think this video breaks it all down um and furthermore though if, if you if you just wanted to pay a la carte you just wanted this information you wanted to go to the listing agent directly and make your bid that way that's totally cool too brother uh whatever you want to do you know we are here to help you negotiate this deal uh get this thing done we could help coordinate your inspection so i don't think there's any room here though for you to offer anything less than full price so i think you got to go full price right if you need me to swing a lender your way uh i could do that if you have your own lender totally cool um you know We'll put it under contract. We'll make sure it's contingent on inspection. If you need me to refer inspectors, I can. If you have your own inspectors, my team, they'll coordinate the inspectors to get in there. They'll give you a big old report. And if there's any like uh, major repair issues or anything that we're not factoring in, uh, we could uh, handle that. We can navigate. We could walk you through that process. You know, I could tell you like, oh, hey, your inspector cited this, this, and this. I could say, hey, man, that shit, that's pretty normal uh, for the the type of property you're getting, the area you're getting, the price point you're paying. Uh, if you want to take this deal down because it's going to make you some money, I think we got to ignore that and we just move forward and you're just going to have to realize you're going to have to pay to fix that down the road. Or I could say, oh, Dan, man, pump the brakes, dude. Uh, this property has a major structural issue. That's going to be a problem. Let's pull the plug. Let's abort the deal. You know, we could always abort. We don't have to waste 80 grand, right? You know, so we'll utilize those due diligence things and uh, my team will be able to walk you through all that and give you advice on the best step. So that's all I got for you, Dan. Anybody else uh, that found value in this, do me a solid, hit the thumbs up button, let YouTube's algorithm know that you guys are finding a ton of value in what we're doing here on Holton Wise TV. If this is the first time you ever watch one of my shows, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you want to buy your own show, if you want me to find a property like this for you, I said it in the earlier, but you just go to the Properties for Sale tab. And uh, if you want this type of experience on anything out there in the market, you want to go to the MLS Search Analysis Show and pick a product, and I'll make a video like this for you. If you want to buy one of my properties, because I am the number one seller of rentals in the Cleveland market, you want to make sure you're watching the Investment Property for Sales Show. Make sure you're subscribed to our email list, because we send it out to you every day at 1 p.m. Uh, but what I found is a lot of guys like this show because uh, – you know, if you look at the view counter, a lot of people are watching this. A lot of people like my property. So whenever I put a property out, you know, it's not uncommon to get 20 offers on it. So 
If 20 guys want to buy it, I can only sell it to one of you. That's 19 people uh, who still need to get an investment property. So you could hire me to find the investment properties right off the uh, the open market. And that's what the MLS search and analysis show is. And even more important than that, I think that's why you guys need to do the real-time MLS feeds so I can actually get the data to you the quickest way possible. The moment those properties hit the open market, you guys can see it. Then you can make the decision if you want me to look into it further. You don't want to have me looking into the property three weeks after it's been on the market or someone's going to come in and snake your deal. That's it, man. That's all I got for today, guys. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health.
Fulton Wise, real estate investing made easy.